A tragedy is spurring a community to make a difference. 12-year-old Tamir Rice was shot and killed by Cleveland police three weeks ago today, holding a toy gun. After weeks of protests and public meetings, today a toy gun buyback took place to help make streets safer. News Channel 5's Nick Foley was at the Cadell Rec Center where the shooting happened, and he joins us live from the newsroom. Nick, how did today's event come together? Well, Dominique, organizers of today's buyback say the event was actually talked about for the last year or so, but the death of Tamir Rice convinced them to hold something like this immediately, and it was obvious many in the community were glad they did. Guns is not appropriate for kids. Heartfelt words from a child returning a toy followed by dozens of others lined up to do the same thing. Comic books and gift cards are passed out in exchange for the guns, and those on hand determined to send a message. I just try to make a change in the community and, you know, give back things that, you know, may appear to be violent. Especially with all the issues and everything that has been going on in our community, all our, you know, our black children and everything dying and everything like that, I think it's a good thing, yes. The Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland and other local groups teaming up to host the buyback with the goal to collect 200 toy guns and hoping to promote alternatives to violence. Kids need options like this and uh, there's already a great turnout of families and kids here with guns and we think that uh, this will mean something uh, construct or do something constructive for the community. A mindset Kathy Gadsden is on board with. Her grandchild returning a gun received as a gift and Kathy believes the idea of saying no to toy guns is something that can gain steam. I think it's a start. I think it's a start. I think with the Christmas season coming, parents need to be mindful of what they're giving their kids as gifts. And the comic books handed out were a franchise called Brink City. And organizers say they contain positive images and life lessons. Live in the newsroom, Nick Foley, News Channel 5.